Everyone, what is up? Welcome to today's episode where we're going to build TikTok from scratch. Yes, you heard it, it's from scratch. We're going to use some technologies like Expo with React Native. We're going to use Superbase for our storage of the videos, the database, and also authentication. So it pretty much does everything. And then a few other libraries with Tanstack Query and NativeWin for styling. And that's kind of about it. We're going to use a lot of the same main features that Expo has out of the box. So let's check out real quick what we're working with. So we have, when you first log in, actually let's reload the page real quick. We have the TikTok logo on the splash screen. Um, obviously we won't be able to publish it to the app store because it will get denied real quickly, but for testing purposes, it's perfect. So we have a login screen and a sign up screen with the little modal, which is nice as well. Uh, we already have a login, so let's do that just to see what we're working with here. So we're gonna sign in. And then when we sign in, we're gonna see the same thing, just like on TikTok, we have a video that just starts playing right away. That's probably not the best example because it's pretty dark. Uh, and you can scroll through each video, you can like a video, you can unlike a video, you can check out a user's profile, uh, you can see who they're following, how many followers they have, how many liked videos they have. Um, if we scroll through, here's one that I did. So we could see our video. We could also comment on a video so we could see Hey, what's up? And then we can also bookmark it. We can share it to our friends. Uh, and then we also have this friends tab. So this one actually kind of confused me at first when I started building TikTok because I don't actually use TikTok myself. Um, so I tried to figure out what the friends were. So there's a couple different concepts. There's a following, followers, and friends. So let's say you follow somebody. Um, their content might show up on your home screen. Um, but if you follow somebody and then they also follow you back, that means you actually know each other and that their content would be in the friends section. So we're gonna have that concept as well. We're going to be able to, of course, use the camera. Uh, I can't use it in the emulator right now because it just won't work. Um, it'll just show a black screen, but in the device itself, it'll have the camera and then we can post a video and then we can post it into our feed. Uh, we could also search. So let's see. Um, I actually don't even remember what users are on here. We could search and we check out a user's profile, see their posts, how many followers they have, how many people they're following and how many likes they have. And then we could go to inbox. Uh, so this is all like the information screen. So we could see anyone that is following us. And if we're not already friends with them, we could friend them here. We could see activities. So we could see, hey, what's up? So this is activities on our stuff. So all of our posts, um, all we're posting a lot on our own stuff, it looks like. And uh, we could chat. So we could chat with other people as well. And this actually uses super base real-time chat. So let's say the other person has um, this open at the same time it'll also update their state so that they could see the message without having to log out or do anything specific of querying the database every single time. And then of course we have profile where we can see our own information and we could update our profile photo using our library and then it'll update the photo as well. And so yeah, there we go. That's TikTok and uh, let's get started in the next video.